Hello Reborn Mommies and Daddies. I hope you're having a great day. This is Emily from Doe Deer Nursery here and I'm currently standing in my kitchen looking into my dining room and just had a little moment of inspiration. I thought I would show you guys my whole Reborn workspace. I know I did a shorter video where I just showed you like a close-up of the work supplies on my table. Uh, but I thought I'd show you kind of the whole area, including kind of where I store my supplies and what my setup's like. So as you can see, this is just um, my dining table. Obviously there's nothing on it right now except this, you know, glass bowl. But when I'm not working, I just go ahead and clear it off and turn it back into my dining table. Over here in the back corner, I've got my little stroller. I got this second hand at a garage sale. And right now I've got little Miss Hattie in here. Usually I have customs in here, but she just looked really sweet today. I thought I'd leave her there. So also in kind of a different space than usual <laughs> on my funky looking couch over here, I've got the two customs I'm working on. Um, so I usually don't just leave them sitting out like this. Normally I'll, like I said, I'll put one in the stroller or just kind of wrap the parts back up in... Um, you know, towels and put them back. But I was cleaning earlier, needed to make space on the table and just kind of set them up over here and thought they looked really cute. So I just thought I'd leave them. Um, the first is the custom twin A I'm working on. She's here with this cute little bunny rabbit lovey I just picked up today. Um, she's obviously not assembled because her painting's not complete yet, but I just thought she looked really cute. And over here is this sweet little boy. He's the Sansa kit by Ping Lao. He's also a custom and he's in the same boat. He's unassembled. His painting's not finished, but I just thought they looked really cute over here. So I figure since no one is really in this space other than me very much, that they were okay to just leave them sitting up here. And then I've got a little package I'm sending home to my sweet friend Bella. She's kind of ordered some extra clothes for her custom paisley. And then going into this room, don't judge me, this is kind of the messy part of my space, my dog bowl. This is the laundry room of the house, and I've got this um, open closet. It doesn't have any doors or anything. I might put a curtain on it. Um, but yeah, it's a work in progress space, but it's what I'm using right now to store my supplies. So I'll just kind of give you a quick mini tour. Up at the top, I've got a bunch of blank kits that um, I'm either planning on making personal collection babies or make to sell or custom babies with. As you can see, I've got a COA in there for Twin B. I try and keep the kits together with their body and their COA so they don't lose track. Um, I've got some fabric softener, which is actually for modified bottles because it's the right color. And then I've got more kits in that box that I need to transfer into a plastic bin. Over here I've got um, some box packing supplies, so tissue paper, ribbon, tape, cards, things like that. I've got some um, kind of workspace towels here. This is my assembly box, which looks uh, kind of messy from the outside, but it's actually compartmentalized on the inside. I've got um, glass beads, pantyhose, scissors, zip ties, um, just things like that for assembling dolls. Then, this is a little kind of in a random place, but this is an assortment of newborn girl clothes. I try and keep kind of an a overstock of um, clothes to send home with babies and I mostly get orders for newborn size girls so that's why I have quite so much of it here. And then this is the painting box so I've got my Genesis heat set paints, some brushes, q-tips, toothpicks, paper towels, sponges, all that stuff is in here. So then the messiest part, which <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like right now. Um, I've got more stuff down here. Um, ultimately what we're doing is we're having another shelf installed right here, kind of at this level. The same way this has the chair rail with the shelf on top, we're going to do the same right here. So everything that's down on the floor will ultimately be up on a shelf. But for now, so you can see, I've got some polyfill on the right, some shipping boxes. I've got an old Lee Middleton doll back there some diapers up on the top of this little organizer. And so yeah, up top I've got, see if I can show you, this is like accessories. I've got um, scratch mitts, socks, hats, pacifiers, headbands, 
again mostly all stuff to go home with customs this is kind of my newborn boy drawer I've also got a few preemie items in here um, but again it's mostly just like stock of clothes and this is receiving blankets in boys girls gender neutral some cute parents choice bottles a baby brush this is actually going to be for my serenity when she gets here she's got rooted hair so that's what's in that box and then up on top here um, this is not really kind of in its proper place right now I was just using it recently which is why it's pulled down um, I just kind of call this my photo shoot box because it's got some special outfits that I don't want to have mixed in with my inventory because I don't want them to ac accidentally get sent home with the baby you've probably seen these in some of my photos I've got like this vintagey white dress some bonnets a yellow romper and then this I actually just picked up today which is why this box is down I was putting this in here this really cute like denim -y outfit it's kind of a tunic with um, some little pants or shorts or diaper cover whatever you want to call this um, but I thought that would be really cute for photo shoots so I'm just gonna hang on to that for that reason and then these two boxes right here are actually um, what I'm using to start collecting the items that are going home with my current customs so the top one you can see is for my custom boy Sansa He's kind of got a dinosaur theme going. I've got like dinosaur mitts, dinosaur onesies, a little dinosaur set. Um, I don't always do a theme, but sometimes it just kind of develops on its own and I run with it. Also got his body in here and stuff, so just kind of keep it all together so I don't lose anything. And then underneath is the box for my custom twin egg girl. You can see her body's in here too. Uh, receiving blanket, onesies, hat, outfit. So she just kind of has like a springy theme. Lots of light green, pinks, and florals. Um, and I just think that's really cute. So that's what's in here. Put this back. Again, it's kind of messy right now, but I moved in here not all that long ago, so it'll get better with time. And then probably the messiest, most embarrassing part. Again, don't judge me. In this cabinet, this is where I have my ramekins of paint that are still mixed up um, that I don't want to kind of waste. So I've got them covered in saran wrap and just stacked back here along with some paint thinner. Um, and then this is just like general cleaning and laundry stuff, bleach and vinegar. But I've got my little mason jar drying rack in there. I also keep my, um, what would you call them, my little glass baking pans uh, with polyfill, the things that I use to... Um, bake the kits. So yeah, again, here's the closet. Messy, but getting there. Head back into my dining room. My dining table, that's also, also doubles as my work table. Stroller and work in progress babies on the couch. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a tour of my little workspace. It's, it's kind of messy, but it's a work in progress and it works for me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.